Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Now, as Halloween is coming up at the end of the month, I thought we could celebrate the fact by doing a spooky effect. <laughs> yeah, and the effect I've gone for is the celebrated soul leaving the body effect, a favourite amongst YouTube video makers. Now, although it's impressive to look at, it's actually a very simple effect to pull off, as you will see. First, shoot your clip. Now, I made two clips. The first was just a straightforward establishing shot of me lying on the floor, pretending to be dead. But it's the second clip that's the important one, because that will be the effect clip. Now, this is a double exposure effect. And like all double exposure effects, it must be shot with no movement of the camera at all during the take. So before you start, lock your camera off on a tripod. I first get into my dead bloke position. And I hold it for a couple of seconds. And then I enact the waking of the ghost or soul. And walk into the lens of the camera. OK, so we have our clip. Let's drag it into Sony Vegas Pro and produce the effect. So, here is the clip on the timeline, and I've removed the audio line to make things a bit clearer. The first thing to do is run the clip to the dead bloke bit, like this. And then take a snapshot of the screen by going here and clicking the Save Snapshot icon. Now I'm saving it to my desktop and naming it as Dead, and click Save. Now find it on the desktop and drag it into the timeline underneath the first clip. Now I'm just grabbing the edge, and I'm going to stretch it to size, like this. Now run the clip to identify where the head begins to raise, and just stop there. And now I'm using the shuttle buttons to go one frame at a time, and I'm going to go about 10 frames or so before the head starts to move. And then I'm going to trim the clip to that point, like this. I'll just use my mouse wheel to zoom in here to make it a bit easier to see. Now move forward slightly to find the point at which the head lifts again, and just add a little fade up to that point. If you run the edit now, you should see a seamless transition between the bottom clip and the top clip, which is good. Now for the magic. To produce the effect, we just need to reduce the opacity or the see-throughness of the top clip, so that we can see the dead bloke below. And this is very simply accomplished by grabbing the little blue dash at the top of the clip here, and dragging it down to the required opacity. About 40% seem to work for this clip, and as the edit runs, you will be able to see through the top layer to the corpse below. Now, how much transparency your clip needs is a matter for personal judgement. If you go too far the other way, you will find that the ghost becomes more solid than the body, which is not what we want. The trick is to leave the body as solid as possible, while still producing a ghost. Good! So, let's get the ghost to walk through the camera. First, locate the position where the ghost completely covers the camera lens, which is about here, and trim the clip to that point. And now, just add a small fade. This one is only about 23 frames, which is less than a second. And if you play it, you will see that it gives the impression that the ghost has just walked through the camera. And that's it, you're done! Just add some sound and music, render to video, and this is what you get. So there you go, an impressive yet easy to do Halloween effect. So that's all for this. Sorry? What's the matter? I said that the camera must be locked down, but there is definitely camera movement visible on the opening clip. 
Ah, yeah, yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? But actually, it's just another effect that's been added to the clip afterwards using something called keyframes. And if you'd like to know how to do that, then stay tuned to the Media Channel because that is exactly what I'll be showing you in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. But for this episode, that's your lot. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, then hit the subscriber thingy because that way you won't miss the next episode. And I'll see you here next time and every time on the Media Channel. Media Channel. You know, sometimes I've got no idea what I'm doing at all. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Major Channel. Shall we go again? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh. went. Oh. And this time, get it right.